Hi everyone, coming to you with the dated twilight. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do on this image, just to make it easier for myself, since it's a light blue sky. So well, it's easier to for me to swap out the sky now than to do it later when the image is darker. So I'm going to do it now with a quick swap light. Now I'm going to choose my twilight and then just brush my twilight can just click on this sky layer and then bring up the levels and then lighten it up a bit because it is going to get darker when I do the do the conversion so something like that and now we can flatten this snap flatten so just to show you what snap flatten does it takes a snapshot of your of your current workflow that you had there and it saves it in your history so it doesn't matter what happens here you always have the snapshot here if you click on the snapshot it shows you what the image was and it also has your layers like you had it so it takes a snap and then it flattens it. Okay, so let's go back to where we were. Okay, so I did my sky, got my twilight sky, and I need to go to my day alter tools. And now I'm going to click day to night. Okay, so now uh, my sky has gotten darker. Now what I want to do is I need to select this windows, but I don't really want to do the lasso thing. Uh, kind of lazy so what you can also do is you can delete this layer this mask delete that mask and now let's go over to the mask creator and then in masks and uh, let's choose the Kotic mask selector okay so I'm going to select the, the red channels we can go through them and see what what is the what's going to create the best mask for the windows so for me it looks like it's going to be the red we can invert that so that the windows are white turn the contrast up and then just lighten this a bit more let's say something like something like that and then done okay now what you can do is just control or command G to create a group and then click onto this mask brush and now just brush in on the windows you can just hold shift and then click Along the along the edge of the window, okay. You don't have to be too careful because we did create a mask for this. I'm just gonna brush over the entire thing. I don't, I don't feel like using the lasso tool because that takes ages so you can you can do this way instead just bring that down a bit you can change the color with, by double clicking on color overlay you can play with the brightness of the windows you can play with the blend modes as well but I think I'll just leave mine at that you can adjust for the color I'll leave mine a bit warm just something like that just to keep it subtle what you can also do is click on this mask and then go to adjust mask and then you can use you can use these tools here to make some changes to the mask or 
just bring up your properties and then add a feather so play with the feather now I don't want this here on this on the wall so I'm gonna click on this the, the groups mask and then just brush with black to erase this on the wall so I'm just gonna give it a, give it a click and then go to the bottom hold shift and click again that's just to go in a straight line so click above hold shift and then click again and then just clean up okay so that's fine for the window just keep it subtle you can also click on this and just make it a bit lighter uh, if you don't want it to dark <clears throat> okay so now I need to do the lights I actually want it a bit more darker just so that I can see more of the lights so first we click on the lights layer now it doesn't matter what your colors are at this point because on the lights layer we have color overlay so that decides your color for you so one click there and then put it on 50% and then just pull up this light you don't have to pull it up all the way though let's make it 30% opacity and then just a bit like that okay so one circle here in the middle and then one stroke softly there so okay that looks natural and now we you can click onto this light glow brush and then this layer doesn't have a color overlay so it's going to use the colors that's on the side here so I'm gonna leave it on white and then just add a bit of bit of light around here that's a bit too much looks a bit weird you don't even have to do this you can skip this part that just adds a bit more brightness to that light and now we go back to the manipulation tools they alter now we're going to lights glow the lights glow is only in version 5.14 so if you don't have that version, the official version that is released is 5.11.4 where you have to brush in your light glow so do something like that make it bigger something like that but um, in this version you can choose the shape so you still have the the normal normal one the round one but you also have you also have a few other shapes so for this for this light here i would actually use this one i'd use that one and then you can transform this but I think that is fine maybe something like that enter now holding alt or option I'll drag over to the to the other light make it smaller since it's further away let's stretch it a bit in something like that squash it up okay so that's how I would do that one if you want you can also add some other extra lighting onto it like something like that but I think I think that this is fine actually I'm just gonna stretch that a bit if you want to add a bit more light to it then you can duplicate the layer control or command J and then it gets stronger then you can just take down the opacity 
and yeah that's that's about it you can you can add a bit of light onto the ground just to make it a bit more realistic Let's just squash that so move it around like that and then I'm going to add a mask to this and just fade this away here can bring down the opacity a bit bring it down more and then I'm going to copy this and bring it beside let's bring that a bit lighter okay let's let's take it back down it looks too strong keep it similar to the other one Okay, so I actually have that on the wall there so let me just brush that away just clean up we needed yeah so now you can flatten this and then you just do your post processing obviously you do this to your liking so yeah that's that's about it cheers guys